All right, YouTubers. Um, a little more video on the uh, tortoise hair combination uh, connection. As you can see, I have uh, my two number eight switches in place with a tortoise and hair already attached underneath. What I do, I will run from the track power bus up splice in two feeders which go into the hair directly into position one and two as per the instructions position one and two and if you recall from my previous video position three and four is coming from the jumpers or the uh, isolated track sections which I've cut into uh, soldered a feeder onto it and brought it into the hair for the auto throw feature and the frog that frog there will be connected to the number five position. Now a couple of you have been asking about manual override on the uh, tortoise hair combination and that's what I'm going to show you now. So you can see in position 12 and 11 you can use any of the other three that they indicate however uh, I like to keep it simple so I will connect a 24 gauge speaker wire which I've tinned the ends to make it easier to go in the uh, hair connector and that goes connected to position 12 and 11 that wire will run out to my uh, front panel and I'll have a, a push button switch connected to the wire when you activate the push button switch it closes the circuit between 12 and 11 and it will cause the hair to activate the tortoise switch machine and move the uh, points in uh, the other direction. Each button, each press of the button will cause the tortoise to move either towards the clear route or the uh, diverging route. And I'll connect that now. All right, once everything is connected, just uh, to test it out, You'll see, I'll just go ahead and uh, connect it up to the uh, tortoise. See if I can do this while leaving the camera. And there you have it. Now we move on to uh, programming. For programming, I'll go ahead and uh, turn on my DCC system. Make sure I get my power light on. And you come to the accessory button. Activate it. All of these hairs are uh, pre-programmed to respond to uh, number one on the accessory. Once uh, you program it to your own uh, liking, you can change uh, the number or address of the uh, hair and uh, to make the uh, hair select one or two for the diverging or clear route one is uh, the clear route select two and you'll see it move diverging route one clear route 
two, converging route. Now that's the, your first uh, simple test. Uh, at this point, there is no power routing to the frog. I'll show you that in the second step. Okay, I went ahead and turned off the uh, DCC system. Right, you'll notice that there are 10 jumper switches on the uh, hair. These have to be set per the instructions depending on the way the actuating arm will rest or will sit on your uh, tortoise switch machine. In my case, my actuating arm for the uh, clear route is like that. In other words, the arm is over towards the right. It's on the clear route as in the photograph. If you have that condition, these are the switch positions from 1 to 10, whether they have to be on or off. So you can see switch 1 and 2 on, 3 off, and then from there on, even or on and odd or off. So I'll go ahead now and uh, change the uh, switch positions to their corresponding uh, uh, positions either on or off. Okay, I've set them to where they uh, should be at. One, two are on, three's off, and then now uh, four, six, eight, and ten are on. Go ahead and install it back on the uh, tortoise switch machine. And you'll notice that there's also a jumper. There's a little black jumper that's on the uh, hair. When you're going to change the address to the uh, hair, you need to move the jumper from position 2 and 3 to position 1. Again, making sure that your system is turned off. There are specific instructions on programming depending on your system. You have instructions for the uh, NCE, Digitrax, and of course in my case I'm using the MRC system. It's pretty uh, self-explanatory. So once uh, the system is off, you move the jumper to the program position which is one and two and go ahead and turn on your uh, DCC power again press the accessory key the new switch number in this case which we this will be switch number three enter press one or two enter and that's it. Go back to uh, the main uh, screen. Go ahead and turn off the DCC system. Go ahead and move the jumper back from position 1 and 2 to 2 and 3. 